state or the federal government prove successful in the end. AUS have to be risking a lot of divisions by doing this. Participate is what we're going to do. Basically, we're going to help the socialist nations that need further development. Mental autocrat Hungary and authoritarian democratic Austria and the social democratic um, Russia. Ukrainians are doing what they can to hold out against the Russian onslaught and the Japanese have decided to go to war with the Germans and the Quinn for some reason and the Republican Chinese are making our last stand the young Republic of China might not survive Chain Breaker and the RMS Republican and the 47th London Division. I'll keep building as many troops as I can because we'll need all we can to get. We're going to land at Antwerp. We're going to try to take Antwerp and Burgess and then encircle Hassel and Murray and encircle them in Brussels. We'll help these guys out, we'll help the Indian Socialists. The AOG is counterattacking quite well and they might uh Republic of China might not win their war against the AUG. be researching escort box doctrine. Ukrainians, sure. No, I will not help the Ukrainians. I don't think the Ukrainians will live very long against the Russians anyhow. They appear to be cut off. Whatever troops are on around Sevastopol and the surrounding provinces probably won't be alive much longer. It's only a matter of time until Odessa falls. The only way they could win is if, if somehow, like, uh, Russia starts a war with Japan or Mongolia. 
or any one of these other countries on their border and they have to pull troops. Then they could launch a counteroffensive towards Kiev and circle these troops once they take this province. So right now it appears to be the Republican Mexican Sure, will kill the Mexicans. Slowly MacArthur is beginning to take land in Mexico. Maybe he'll even conquer Mexico. The federal government appears to be launching a pretty massive counterattack. We'll have to fight MacArthur, which is becoming like a modern day Caesar if he keeps power after the American Civil War. The anarchists at the CNT will help Central America if you didn't get that event. Um. Great Spartacus class. Prepare carriers. Close air support doctrines done. Well, hopefully as the syndicalists we can liberate Europe and Africa. Hopefully we can take Russia. If I think the Russians at this point need a stable government. Bolivia trading with us, all about helping the CNTFIA in their war. The Bolivians also. The Spanish government still fighting back, it just doesn't stand much of a chance. But something's happening. Soviet Russia got it. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. So, the Soviets have their independence, so to speak. And now they're at war with Russia, and we can make civil war in Russia. Right? Okay. Okay, the crisis in Russia has reached a frightening level of intensity, and now Russian workers have risen to the struggle for freedom against the capitalist oppression once more. Should we help them even though the Bolshevik methods are rather extreme? We'll help the Russian proletariat. So they went with armed camps, so they might have enough military force to fight the Russian government. And this might just save Ukraine, might be saved. Social Democratic government led by Dmitry Romanov is beginning to collapse. And now we appear to be at least have several other conflicts. The anarchists are coming back. We'll help the Georgians. I just hope these conflicts get, are beginning to have an end. I mean, it's not going to end all in America, it's over, basically. I shouldn't say it's over, something can still happen, but it doesn't look good. Looks like Chicago is under siege, Springfield is being encircled with federal troops, they have Guy Fox Day. Why is it called an Arya from Republican Air Force or Royal Air Force? Destroyers. Three 
Ghost Destroyer Flotillas. A whole bunch of... So we're getting eight transport flotillas. Two transport new troops. Escort box doctrines done. We'll get someone here researching and getting airborne. Southampton class. So we're getting a whole bunch of ships that won't be done until continuing to see British proletariat fighting its fighting central government in Russia. The proletariat the Russians are counterattacking, but they can still be closed off. Timer is going off, so um, this is part five. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this.